Why is this happening? Because of the West's failed attempts to make their eugenic arguments seem true. So they have gone to extreme measures. In the past, on record, they sought to prevent the rise of a black messiah under J. Edgar Hoover. They went on and on about treat you like a king, Rodney King, Martin Luther King, but first and foremost, the king, the true king, the true martial art king of the Igbos, coming from Nigeria, Niger, Nigeria, the Niger River outposts, the British who set up their, their shop there, uh, where masonry, Freemasonry, Western Freemasonry comes from. Okay, they say that the, the N word means no gear or ignorant. Okay, and so there's a bunch of technological terrorists who have been you, leveraging their technology to terrorize black people and other peoples all over the world for many, many years now. So when we consider moral worth and natural attraction, the burden of proof now is too great uh, on the big three corporations, the white Jews and Asians, okay, to ever prove that they have higher moral worth or that they are more naturally attractive. All they can show, you know, one must default with they have sabotaged other groups of people to make themselves seem more attractive and to make themselves seem more moral or make themselves seem decent or somebody you should look up to. Okay. Remember, this is the mind control age. The burden of proof is on them and in a way they could they could never possibly fulfill because it is the age of psychology, mind control, chemistry, okay? Where the scientists can literally read your mind with computers, where they have understood the unconscious mind and subconscious to a large degree for many, many years, okay? We'll call it the corporate burden. The corporate burden of proof that you should be in charge, the big three races, is too great for them to ever meet. And there doesn't seem to be any chance that that all of these people will be removed from power. Therefore, the world is permanently on an evil course. To someone who is actually good, cowardice and evil and pretending to resist are not attractive traits in a person. That's part of why I'm not attracted to any female anymore. I'm not attracted to, and never was attracted to men. They try to make me look gay. They try to demonize me. They've done all kinds of despicable things. And I'll get into why you're pretty crazed and insane and you couldn't possibly live in reality if you don't understand that's the case. Remember, I'm the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon, okay, who came here without a penny uh, from the Nigerian Civil War as part of the royal family, the family that um, they want to demonize more than any family on the planet, treat you like a king, the N-word, no gear, comes from Niger. Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa. Niger pales in comparison to Nigeria and the Igbos are the bill that rings the loudest in martial arts in reality. All right. It goes back to Obi, meaning king, which is Igbo backwards, king, heart, hut, temple, the message of the Egyptians where mar modern martial arts systems got their uh, ideas from their animal styles, the Egyptian animals and so on and so forth, the leopard, five animal styles, the panther, the snakes in Egypt, snakes down on Kung Fu, and so on and so forth, on and on and on and on, and on. you know, the crane, the ostrich, on and on and on. All right. So due to eugenics and the worship argument, okay, the burden of proof in the mind control, psychology, and chemistry age, the technological age, the information age, information, what formation? Being a slave, a mind control slave, okay, is too great for these groups of people to ever meet or for anybody who is alive to ever justify their, them being alive in this world. Okay, either as pure evil or as their slaves. Right? Evils live backwards. It's also stupid. Okay. And, uh, it's stupid to be alive and to not be the blameless one. And so, certainly, you know, I will die eventually. Uh, it probably won't be more than a, a year or so. All right. The worship argument. It's right there in the wordplay. For those of you who are idiots, these guys are magic spell weirdo apron guys who write and use compasses and draw symbols and sigils and all this stuff. They're Harry Potter kind of Freemason kind of guys, kind of scribes, Imhotep thongs on. Okay, they basically, you know, vow L alphabet, which goes back to the martial art king of the Igbos, Nigerians. You know, blacks are the most athletic race when it comes to martial art. You know, kind of hand hand combat. Uh, Nigerians are the bell that rings the loudest. Igbos are the smartest and the bell that rings the loudest among Nigerians historically. But we see this eugenic, right? Eugenics is about impairing the traits of Africans first and foremost to support the narrative of the big three races, uh, whites, Jews, and Asians. We'll call it the Eurasian eugenic argument. 
and the Jews are basically white people who have taken on the identity of Jews as the Romans and other groups of white people basically forced the Jews to be their 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 wives. Okay, and that's why the Jews migrated around Europe, right? They were they're they're going around Europe prostituting themselves and being abused, you know, and then they took on the modern form that they have now. Okay, so worship, right? Worship. We're shaped. We are shaped. Think about sports. Where do they come from? What what kind of terrain, right? Background check, field, right? Oh, you know, where's it where, where is it done? Worship. Okay. Worship. Right? War shape. Okay. Wire puss. Wire pass. Okay. Thou L, L meaning Lord. Okay. Uh, and phonetics, phones, sounds, Phoenicians, phony. Right? You know, letters are basically symbols. Okay, symbols trigger parts of the brain. Stop signs are shaped that way for a reason. I can go on and on and on and on. Okay, and of course, use even the structural. People talk about functionalism and structuralism and structural functionalism. Okay, as as sociological theories, they mentioned linguistics as part of uh, the interconnected components of a society and how it functions. And they they saw it as uh, quite a few of them saw it as a vital a part of society that these components, including evil parts of society, were necessary to keep society as a whole functional. You know, that goes back to the checkered floor of masonry, the yin-yang, and go on and on and on. Okay, any argument that fits the Eurasian eugenic narrative must be seen as a lie. We have never at any point in history seen any reason why the corporate three races, white Jews and Asians, you know, the Eurasians, are superior, but we have seen a lack of moral intelligence and then playing themselves out to the wisest and the best as they benefit from extreme evil and the eugenic argument. In an evil world, where certainly the, old, the, the rich must be to blame and the governments must be to blame, those who benefit the most must be seen as the most evil. The, the, the most nice seeming of the rich people is far more evil than a serial killer in the ghetto for this reason. Okay. They're benefiting from mass, mass murder. And I, I give you the example of a train on a virgin. It is like everybody who's alive but the blameless one is running a train on a virgin. And the rich and the middle class are the people that take the most turns on her. It's really that simple. These are the guys that benefit the most. What do they really contribute to benefit the most? And what, what kind of, a, it's an, a system that rewards evil. Okay, so the richer you are and the more admiration of potential wives you have, the more evil you are. It's open and shut. If mental health, Hitler, the Zionists, the Asians and the other races that deny me my rightful place in martial arts and train their daughters to shun me instead of have the heart to stand with me, publicly looked up to somebody I could not possibly. That's too dishonorable for, for me. If they looked up to them and, and, that, and that caused them to behave the way they're behaving, I do not look up to them. We look at Ionia State Hospital. Right? They used to take black people to the hospital just for being in the wrong place in Mississippi. They would say if, 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 you know, if, a, if a black person, an N-word, was to go to Old Miss, right? They must be crazy. They take them to Ionia State Hospital. Also, the draped domania. We see all throughout history, Zumbi, Palmeras, uh, Rio, you know, runaway slaves, especially martial artists, okay, were basically labeled mentally ill. So America, psychiatry, mental health, and history has a long history of labeling black martial artists mentally ill for not wanting to go along with white society when part of what they were upset at was the systematic rape of women and the eugenic breeding of their people. Mainstream history. Okay. So in 2019, if people don't think there's mind control going on and psychological operations, they don't think that there's advanced chemistry going on, uh, you know, being, being used on, on the population, if they uh, don't think that you know, this stuff is real and that, they, that, that society and the surveillance state, especially during the war on terror, isn't concerned with controlling the sentiments and the value and you know, what people perceive the value in the society, um, they're insane. Okay, the, this is absolutely going on. It, the war on terror is fought first and foremost in the minds of people, first and foremost. Okay, that's why Trump, you know, very racist guy, came out a bunch of racist Americans in denial, crazed lunatics voted from uh, the right left paradigm. They work together and supports insanity. Okay, they basically came out, you know, just like Bush and all these guys and Obama talking about our values, right? American values. American values is basically Satanism, okay? It's a secular society. It's a worldly society. It's hypocrites in the church. It's super churches who are Satanists, small town churches that are racist, small town churches that are hypocritical. It's a long history of, of the, the mental health kind of community 
and their clan allies burning black churches and persecuting black Christians first and foremost because they are the soul brother people, right? They come off as the most spiritually intense and they are the, they are, they are the poor and these are the rich white racists and, and scientific Satanists and scientific racists and technological terrorists who have been abusing them and harassing them for a long, long time. In fact, to harry means to harass and one of the princes we have, uh, you know, uh, you know of, of this world in England is named Harry. I don't think it's a coincidence. It goes back to the sheriff of Nottingham, right? Nottingham associated with black people historically. You can you can go on and on. There's all kinds of you know mercury was accepted by you know I'll put the mercury pictures at the end if I remember. The, it, this deity in particular has to do with the mark of the beast, has to do with merchandise, has to do with gear, Merce, right? Mars, Mercury, Mars, the the Roman uh, deity of martial arts, right? Mercury, Mark and Mark, mark of the beast, merchandise, boundaries. And look, I'll underline it, and I'll put it at the end. You'll see that there's no way around that argument, that uh, the mainstreaming white society, the mainstream Eurasian society has accepted the mark of the beast, and they're leveraging that. And one couldn't possibly be a martial artist unless they transcend that system. And I'm the only one that has done it. So I'm the only one who's a valid martial artist, and uh, I can also easily beat them naturally at martial arts. So by far, by far, it doesn't even come close. I'm the top martial artist, and people can't see that. It's like arguing that uh, a crippled rat could beat a, 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 a leopard in combat. It's, it's insane. Their argument is insane. Okay, so there's 19 witnesses to drugging and harassing me, fuming me, okay, and the campaign against me. Okay. On record, and many of them, most of them have said that if they change their testimony in the future, they'll be lying in the future and not when they made the testimony at that point. So I, I went the distance, had the presence of mind to make sure that this thing was sound. So man put a man on the moon, scientists can read your mind, and every reason, every, you know, there's every reason for the average citizen to believe that they can remotely control your mind at this point because the government is said to be 20 heads, years ahead in technology uh, of the general population. So if they came out in the news with they can read your mind, you better believe that, that they can read your mind remotely right now. So rich people and the middle class are the most evil argument. I went over that, okay. So Mercury, Pan, I'll put, if I remember, I'll put the, the picture of Pan, Queen Elizabeth. Pan is connected to Bess, Dionysus, and Bacchus. And Bess and Pan are kind of smaller guys who aren't very coordinated. And this is how they basically train the population to be putting substances in their food. Look at the trajectory of uh, putting substances in the food and what they can do with those substances. You know, uh, you can, you'll quickly come to the conclusion that at this point, they have the ability to control your mind remotely based on the substances they put in your food. Okay, and they're only going to refine that more and more, so it's, it's stupid to live. You're going to be a slave more and more. Every generation is more and more of a slave. Same old money guys, same, same butt buddies, uh, and they're, using, they're, they're getting more advanced with technology to abuse people. All right. So we see in history the killing of the most coordinated and athletic martial artists, the black people. We see their lateral movements, right? Their recovery time, their speed, their aggression, testosterone levels, chemical makeup, body structure, physique, physics, and so on and so forth. We see it's a clear-cut case of it is wrong to pretend that these guys have superior martial arts systems after they killed these honorable guys who were greater warriors than there. It's open and shut. Okay, you know, the, okay so the $100,000 challenge, four-year challenge, okay? Most part of four thousand dollars, but at one point I raised it to hundred thousand dollars. They slowed down my videos, fumed, drugged, dehydrated, chemically altered my body. The technology they used, they blinded me, causing me photophobia. They caused me breathing breathing problems with all the fuming that they did, which you know eventually led to you know I, mean, I still have these eye droppers that really don't help because they keep fuming me and it causes me more problems. The screen is blurry. This you know they 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 hack my computer, uh, they hack my phone. You know, they, they, they get me coming and going, right? They make it harder for me to see the screen. I have to dim the screen, take off the blue light. They, you know, they make it so that I can't look at the screen. I have blurry vision, okay? And um, um, they, they alter my pictures and so on and so forth to try to make me look ugly and evil. They try to make me look gay, stupid, ugly, evil, uh, make me look unattractive and so on and so forth. All right, so there's demon imagery. I, I went on record with the, the graffiti or whatever you want to call it. They put on the uh, basketball court, the backboard, the wall, the wall ball, wall. Okay, um, demon imagery, drawings. Uh, okay, uh, gaslighting. Right, it's right there in the word. Gassing, fuming, lights, gas backwards. Uh, sage backwards is uh, e gas. Okay, gaslight to lie, white denial is common topic in politics. Uh, school backwards is looks. They suppress the videos. The military psyop units are involved. The police, the intelligence agency, they're they're watching right now. 